hello guys this is ETB designs and today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a simple apple belly design okay let's just go straight we are going to be using the raw psd file and also we are going to be working on the layers so let us turn off these um, the layers to see how we started first of all let me show you the, the image size that i used i used a dimension of um, 3508 by 3508 with a resolution of 300 I work in pixels then after that I dropped my background I got it from unsplash.com you can check out the website to get more backgrounds also and pictures also then layer how I got this um, you can see M -ton. These layers off to see where I started from. Okay, what I did was I drew a rectangle here with my rectangle tool. Then I clipped this image to it. Let me show you the original image. Look at it. I got it from a splash.com also. So I clipped it, create clipping marks to this rectangle here. Then I also dropped my image that I'm going to be working with. Yeah, then I clipped it, clipped it also. Create clipping marks. You can see. Then let's see what is this. Okay, this is a glow. What I did was that I used my brush tool and hide this. Create a new layer. Then color. I use this color. I just click on it. Then I set my mode to screen. Okay, that was how I did that. Let me delete this one and go back to the former one. The next year is um okay. Still the same thing. Oh, I like it like this. Then this um, color lockup. You can see it kind of blends the background with the image. I got it. Okay, how I did it was that I clicked on color mockup here. Then I load it. It's a loot, but you can still try up some of these to see what um, how to see how your image will look like. Let me delete this. Okay, so now we are done with how I did this, the clipping and the image and the other things. The next in line is this um, text. That I got, I named it um, text one. Text one. You can see. Okay, let's see what this one. Okay, this um, this is this text here. Okay, what I did was that I created a rectangle using the rectangle tool with a um, fill of black. Okay, this is the first rectangle, this is the second rectangle. Okay, then I added my text here. Let me show you the text, the name of the text. I used the Calibri, 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 okay, Calibri, then the size 24 same thing with this also just that i changed the color to white so i changed the color to white so that was how i did this then this happy birthday layer i used a font called black sword size 71 same thing with this happy also so that i changed the color to kind of an orange color okay that was how I did this happy birthday layer then let's move next to the next one okay this this I use the same calibre font size 18 um, this we love you I used a font called a uh, bow bow 
okay that was how i was able to accomplish this my text one layer okay let's move to another layer okay this is i named it text two let's see what this is comprised of it comprised of um, a rectangle rounded rectangle okay what i did was that let me show you what i did okay i created a new layer i took uh, my rectangle tool rounded rectangle tool and i drew i drew what i did was that okay this this size here i changed it to let's say 400 and let's see what will happen if you click enter look at it gives you a kind of round edge i changed my uh, let me see let me take the black so you can see what okay i seen how i was able to accomplish this let me delete it and get back to my original okay then what i did was that oh sorry kind of dog. Okay, so what I did was I added um, a gradient overlay to it. Um, you can click on any of these, then add the click here, add a color, and take this. Yeah, I think I added another one here also. Something. Let's go to this one. Then I added the color from here also okay I think I think this one is okay I clicked okay then you can change your angle let's see what it looks like I think it change your angle or if you don't want your style to be linear you can change the other styles you can try radial let's see what this one can give okay you can try angle you can try reflected anyone but let's just leave it um, to our linear and okay Think. that was how i did it you can click okay but i will click cancel to get back to my original layer then okay it's your text what i did was i wrote down my text using a font um, cobel size 18 okay then this are you okay i just added this rectangle it just gives a a good um, look to what i created then that was how i I was able to accomplish this other text too. Okay, we're almost getting to the end of this tutorial. This is just a I don't need it a watermark. Let's see what I did. Okay, I just created a rectangle using my rectangle to to sorry. Okay, I drew then I added these and these are just watermarks I got from my previous works then i group them then let's see what this oh these are just um, um dots i created let's see how i did that i created a new layer and i typed in my dots or let's see full stop then let me change the color to this. Yeah. And I increase the font size. Okay, and decrease it a little bit. And increase the spacing also. Oh. Mm. oh. But you get the idea, it's something like this. Something like this. I think something like this. 
then duplicate it so you get this type of um, stylish look. Let me delete this back. Okay, that was how I was able to accomplish this. These dots. And this I just named it finishing. But I think I'm done already. So this is how it looks like. So I did this finish. What I did was that I saved these as a JPEG format. Then okay. Look at it here. Then I just added this fancy background to it. I got it from Osplash.com also. Then I added my JPEG picture on top of it just to make it look more attractive and beautiful also. So this was how I was able to do a simple Abbey Birdie design. You can try it out also. And if you have any questions, you can drop it on the comments box below. I hope do it to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me up on Instagram and on Facebook. Thank you.